If you don't drive your favorite convertible, sports car, or classic in the cold, the snow, or the ice, which I don't and hope you don't either, proper storage can prevent problems that can be costly to fix. And storage mistakes could lead to some very expensive repairs, including blemishes and rust to your paint job. Of course, mechanical problems can be an issue as well. And then my favorite, those little rodents who like to find a new home in your tailpipe or somewhere in your vehicle. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time to the channel, we give you more than car reviews and first looks at new vehicles, we give you car smarts because we believe that knowledge is power. Subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Make sure your car is insured. It's important to protect your car with standard car insurance or classic car insurance, even if the vehicle is stored. Now what's important is there are several reasons to avoid letting your policy just lapse because it could cost you more when you renew that policy. Second, if something happens to your car while it's in storage, such as fire or theft or rodents, insurance can help cover the costs of those repairs. It's a good idea to maintain your vehicle's comprehensive coverage as long as you don't plan to drive it until spring, and you can always drop the collision coverage because the vehicle isn't being driven, and that will also save you some money. Make sure to update your storage location because the insurance company is going to want to know that, especially if there's a loss. Decide where to store your car. If possible, store your car in a dry location with a concrete floor, such as your garage or an indoor storage unit. Many self-storage facilities offer indoor and or outdoor vehicle storage, and these options can be good, but highly recommend the safest place to store is inside out of the elements, especially if it's going to be for months and you wanna make sure that it's covered properly. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you need to store your car for years, definitely keep it inside. Swap out fluids. Leaving dirty used oil in your car can cause engine damage. And therefore, if you plan to store your car for a month or more, have the oil changed. I highly recommend a full synthetic motor oil because it does not break down like regular motor oil. Also check the brake fluid and the coolant because the deterioration of those fluids can lead to rust and corrosion and a big expense. Fill up the tank. Before storing your vehicle, use most of the fuel and add stable. Then fill the tank up with the proper gasoline. You wanna store your vehicle with a full tank of gas. It keeps water out of the tank as well. And this will extend the life of your gasoline and the fuel lines because those can be a real pain to replace. Also, you wanna store it with gasoline and stable because it will stop the varnishing of the lines and fuel injectors can be very expensive to clean and cost hundreds of dollars. Protect your battery. It's best to have your vehicle stored on a trickle charger that would be indoors or a battery maintainer. This is an inexpensive device that helps your battery maintain the power instead of gradually losing it over a period of time. And if you let it sit over six months or so, you're more than likely going to have a dead battery. Save yourself the headache in advance. It's really low cost to purchase a trickle charger and it'll save you the towing bill. It costs about $40. Take care of your tires. Tires can lose air pressure over time, but also the outside temperatures can lose one to two pounds of pressure very easily. And loss of tire pressure can lead to flat spots, of course, on the bottom of the tires. Those flat spots can ruin your tires, requiring you to spend a lot of money in the spring when all you hear is thump, 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 thump when you're driving it. To ensure your tires remain in good repair, make sure to check that tire pressure on a monthly basis or park it on jack stands. Keep those critters away. Put a rubber ball or a rag in the tailpipe to prevent mice, insects, and all kinds of level little rodents from making a new home. Also, cover the heater vents if you really feel that they can get in there is another way to keep them out of nesting in that area. And as a third precaution, place dryer sheets in the vehicle and under the hood to keep those critters away because they don't like that smell. Wash that ride before you put it away. Remove the bird droppings, the tree sap, and other substances that come from the roadway. You want to protect that paint and make sure to clean the rims and the tires. You want to get rid of all the dirt that's possible that can build up. Apply a good coat of wax to your car to protect the exterior while it's stored. And that way in the spring, you'll have a nice clean car ready to go on the roads. Get a pad to soak up those leaks. Certain vehicles leak fluid while sitting and using cardboard or you can buy an absorbent pad to slide underneath the vehicle, either the center of the vehicle or park it on that vehicle can help keep the floor clean, but it can also 
find out where those leaks are and what's leaking because that will help you figure out what may be wrong in the spring. Cover your car. Whether your car is sitting in your driveway or your garage or in a special storage facility, you should keep it covered while you're away. Use a good quality car cover too. One that breathes, not a plastic tarp. Tarps cause moisture to be trapped. And if your car is stored outside, you'll need a weatherproof car cover to protect it. But remember, that is not the proper place to park a vehicle, park a car in an indoor space with a really quality car cover. When spring arrives, it's time to drive your car again. First, you can remove the ball or rag from the tailpipe, disconnect your trickle charger, take out those dryer sheets, take off the car cover, fold it up nicely so you can use it again, and you'll be ready to go out in the spring and go for a wonderful ride, which I'm really looking forward to spring. If you own a motorcycle or anything that you would use during the summer, you want to store that as well. Don't forget to check out our all new website, Car Coach Reports in English and Spanish. Get more car smarts in my book. The link is down below. Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. If you got value from this video, make sure to give it a like and share. Put your comments down below. We do answer questions we may have not answered in this video. And follow me on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix to stay on top of the best prices and more automotive information. Thank you for your support on our Patreon page, Car Coach Reports. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much.